Hey guys, that brown bat is back once again with Sabine Wren. And this is a response to a um, question I had earlier this morning based on a tutorial video that I had posted about how to get inside the buildings, the interior buildings, once you bring them into or out into the exterior. Um, I, I never said how I did that because I actually thought that it was old hat. <laughs> I thought it was old news uh, from 2.0. It wasn't my... I didn't find that through... I found that with somebody else's assistance, I guess. I've seen somebody else's video. I don't know whose video it was. It was just randomly searching. There was a couple videos out there. Um, and uh, I found it, and I said, oh, this works. So I didn't want to take credit for it, but there was like five other videos that I had found since then saying this, you know, showing the same thing. So I actually thought it was uh, old news. Um, but it actually does work in 3.0, of course. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had video content, you know, putting a Star Destroyer through a building. It was awesome. So... <laughs> Long and short of it, I'm going to just run through how to do it. Um, so, the first thing you need is open up your ribbon and get yourself a door. Two, three, find the door. Door, 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 door. Interior door. No. Sorry. Do not use the interior door. Do not use the interior door. Uh, don't use that one. Sorry. Um, well, good thing I found that one, so I can sh show you what not to do. <laughs> the reason I say that is because the interior door takes you to your interior. Will this trick work? Yes, this trick will work. But what I've experienced in 2.0, and I'm not going to test it out in 3.0, you make a level, and for some reason, if you use the my interior door, the, the one that takes you to your specific interior, in 2.0... It would delete certain things. And so uh, we don't want to delete certain things. I'm not going to take that chance. But I never had that problem when I used the regular level door. So you want to highlight it. Go to uh, properties. Destination. Default, it's going to be the same level that you're on. So what you want to do is new toy box new interior level name whatever you want it to be T T T T save okay now from what I understand if well I, I do understand it from uh, uh, from uh, personal experience if you want the level, if you're not going to delete the level that you're going to go in, do not make a new toy box. You want to import one that you've made separately if you're going to save it. Just because there's things that can happen where you can lose all your progress. And if you don't have a separate level saved, uh, then you can't go back to it if, if that glitch ever occurs. Uh, but for this particular purpose we're just using these this toy box or this interior room just to bring stuff out into the open so enter it and listen to the elevator music ding 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 okay here we are okay so you're going to need a couple things because here's the door that goes right back by default this is uh, the 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 world you just came from. So you need a let's see creativity toys creativity toys. You need a time delayer. One of these, and then you need anything that will trigger an action. That which would be a button, um, ability terminal. Um, dynamic action for what is it called? 
that uh, the new one that they have dynamic something dynamic trigger area regular trigger area um, push button anything that will let you you can even use a sky changer um, anything that has the option is what do you want to do or what what logic will happen after you push this button or step on this plate so it doesn't matter I just use this as fun because I like to have my characters hack stuff so new logic and if you do use this make sure that you go to properties and make sure that your character can use it so you can change that um, new logic connection once this is hacked you want it to go to the time delayer okay and then once the time delay is done you want to change level okay now you want to give yourself specific time to do a certain thing that I'll show you in a second time delay five it's just enough it can be ten but five is enough for me okay so don't go through that door yet now you make sure your ribbon is set on something that you do not have available in the uh, exterior so you have creative toys in the exterior um, you have cast members in the exterior but you don't have rooms and you don't have tables and cabinets accent and decor and blah 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 and all that so leave it set to one of those get on your terminal hack it or step on your plate whatever you put down okay so now you want to open your ribbon and then it'll ask you to do travel and I know what it says it's ribbons in the way so don't cancel oh yeah in the bottom it says X continue zero cancel so you want to continue you could also set that to no confirmation so it just automatically does it but it seems how it gives you the option so you, um, in case you forget um, you have that option so these are just cars not buildings that I have around here I I always wanted to live in Corazon I just have to figure out how to do the bottom levels and we'll be all set the buildings are tall, but the buildings aren't tall enough. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, open up your ribbon, and now it's exactly where you left it. So now you have windows. That some of the things will fit on some of the things, and some of the things won't fit on some of the things. Um, and some of the things will be able to break the barrier a uh, collision uh, but let's say King uh, Stefan's castle fireplace you can't even set it on the ground by default I don't know if they did that on purpose or I, I don't know what the story is you can get around that but you probably didn't want to bring a fireplace out into the open anyway um, I have tutorial on how to get around that it involves moving your base so you'd have to set your part there make sure you're done with everything otherwise you have to go back rinse and repeat move this out of the way put a trigger area down move this over to where you want to put it and then move that back the just check out my videos I explain it in further detail uh, I'm not going to do that right now but like I said there's other videos maybe I'll put a link in the description below for the below I will put a link in the dis in the description below for my other tutorial videos hey look a sidekicks hungry again um, or let's see what else could I do I'll put a link at the end of the video I'll do both I'll put links all over the place so you're without, <laughs> without excuse. But some of the cool things that you would want to put uh, on the floor, you can. Like bookshelves. Like everybody wants bookshelves outside. Let's say you're making a 
Hey, look, I, I'm having a yard sale. <laughs> There's this stupid movie that i seen with Will Ferrell where uh, he kind of couldn't pay for his house anymore. And he started living in his yard. It was stupid. So stupid, I thought it was funny. Um, I do like the case, the the, ex, the bookcases they give in this uh, version. All right, I'm getting these sidekicks that are hungry. Um, weird thing. Oh no, it's not a weird thing. I thought this was uh, able to be put down. Um, let's see, what else would you might wanna? Would you might wanna? Carpets, you can put carpets down. That thing that tells you your sidekicks are hungry is annoying. So paint, melted snow puddle, rancor pit. Um, let's see. And of course the uh, buildings takes a while for this one to come out okay and then uh, and put a command center down some stairs now this is odd Last time I tried this, I had to, I could only go one way. Yeah, there. Yeah, so you don't have that much liberty with where you put everything all the time. Apparently, that statement is incorrect today. Where's the door? Yeah, see here... Now I, I can't connect this one. Um, so you have to fool around with it. Um, and uh, see where you go. I think I have something to do with the proximity to the side of the, uh, of the other building. So just mess around with it. But that's how you do it. Um, so I'm going to call it a day for this video it's pretty cool I mean just the way that looks right there and ooh, oh oh uh, whatever so anyway this has been that brown bat with a awesome tutorial and Sabine Wren signing off and we'll catch you guys later in the next awesome episode. Well, that's it for this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. There definitely will be more content coming your way soon. This has been That Brown Bat signing off. CIAO.